Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Redstone Handguns mod for your current version of Minecraft. So if you guys check out the link in the description, it's going to take you right to this Redstone hand, uh, Redstone Handguns mod uh, webpage here. And you're just going to want to scroll all the way down here, and you're going to want to find uh, the, the most recent uh, update of this mod. Right now, currently, it's in the Artillery update, so that's the third release. So if you just download this and save it to your desktop, just like that, um, the Redstone update right there... Um, you'll be ready to go for that. The next thing you actually are going to need is the Minecraft Forge. Um, it is required for this mod, so you're going to need to download that and install it. Um, so if you guys check the link in the description for Forge, um, it'll take you right to this website, and you're always going to want to make sure you download the very top version right here, and it'll be the most current version of Minecraft, and you're going to want to make sure you guys download the universal version right there and save it to your desktop just like that. Now I'm going to show you guys how to also install Optifine. Optifine is not actually required for this Redstone Handguns mod, but it is a great mod to help you guys out for lag. So if you guys have issues with lag in your computer, um, that's how you guys. Uh, it is recommended to install Optifine. Uh, but again, it's not required for this mod. All right. So once you guys have those things downloaded and right there on the desktop, what I'm actually going to uh, recommend you guys do is click on Minecraft, go to Options, Force Update, and click Done and log in. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because um, I don't know for sure if you guys have mods installed and if those mods are actually compatible with the Redstone Handguns mod. Um, so I do recommend to either update your Minecraft or back up and save your Minecraft. Now, if you, so if you guys need help backing up or saving your Minecraft, there will be a link in the description of for one of my videos, and I'll show you guys how to back up and save your current your uh, version of Minecraft. Um, so you guys can that video is kind of helpful. Um, so if you don't want to force update, uh, make sure you back up and save your Minecraft there. Um, so either once your Minecraft is done uh, force updating, and once it's done. Uh, okay, it's done now. Um, you're going to want to make sure you close out of Minecraft. Always make sure Minecraft is closed when installing mods. So once you guys have done that, and you guys are force updated, you guys are ready to install the mod. So, if you see this down here on the very bottom left hand corner here, you're going to see percent after percent. Now, in order to do this, you're going to want to click on start here, and you want to type in percent a p p d a t a that's percent app data and another percent then you're going to see this roaming folder in the very top here you're going to want to click this roaming folder and you're going to see this dot minecraft folder right here you're going to want to open that minecraft folder and this is where you see bin resources and saves here you're going to open the bins folder and you're going to see this minecraft executable jar file right here now if you just try to open it it's not going to let you so if you right click on it and open it with winrar you are able to open it now if you guys don't already have winrar installed there will be a link in the description so you guys can download and install that from there. So once you guys have the Minecraft.jar open with NR, you are going to see this MetaInf folder right here. You're going to want to right click on MetaInf and you're going to want to delete these files. Push yes and you want to make sure MetaInf is deleted. Now if you don't delete MetaInf, you will get a black screen and uh, you're not going to want to have that happen. So you always want to make sure you delete that MetaInf there because this does not allow your mods to run. So once you have the Minecraft.jar open with NR and you've deleted that MetaInf, you're going to want to open the Minecraft Forge Universal. So if you open that Minecraft Forge, move it over here, you are going to notice that you see a meta-inf here also, but you're going to want to leave that there because that is part of Forge. So you just want to leave that there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right-click here, select all, and you want to go to drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar that you opened within R, and push OK when it's done, and you guys are done with Forge. So you guys can close Forge. Now again, I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine, but it is not actually required for this mod, so if you don't want to install it, that is totally up to you but I do recommend it because it's an awesome mod so if you just open it up there right click here and select all you're gonna want to drag all these files right into the minecraft.jar that will be and push ok and then you guys will be totally done with optifine so you can close that and you guys are also done with the minecraft.jar the overthrow so you can close that now you're gonna be back here where you open the minecraft click back one this is where you see bin resources and saves. Now, if you guys are lost, you guys don't know where I'm at. How we got to this was with percent after percent. Then we went to the roaming folder, and then we went to the Minecraft folder there. And this is where we see bin resources and saves. Now, once you guys are here, you're going to want to add a new folder. So you want to click new folder there, and you want to call this folder MODS, all under caps mods folder, push enter, and you guys can open this mods folder. Now, you're going to want to make sure this folder is empty. And once that is done, um, you're going to want to open or you don't really have to open it, you just want to select it here and you want to drag the Redstone Handguns mod right into the mods folder and you guys are completely done with the installation and you guys are ready to play the mod. So if you guys actually want to see what's in the mod, you guys want to check it out. Um, I do. Uh, I will have a video up here in the top left hand corner that will be a mod review. So you guys can click on that and I'll show you guys actually what's in the video, um, what, what's in the mod and that kind of thing. So it's a pretty awesome mod. Um, Again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are getting a black screen, uh, make sure you guys follow this video exactly like I showed you. 
and uh, if you guys need help backing up a saving, if you have issues, uh, force updating and that kind of thing, um, just make sure you guys click on that link in the description for backing up and saving. Um, so that was the mod um, installation. Hopefully that I helped you guys out. I really like it when I help you guys out. Hopefully, um, again, if you are getting a black screen, just make sure you force update and you, and you have a clean Minecraft uh, dot jar and then you can reinstall this mod. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be part of the Blaze Army, make sure you guys are subscribed. I do a lot of mod reviews and a lot of mod installs on my channel. So you guys can check those out if you would like to. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.